For 40 years, Hassan Sampari has been selling fruits and vegetables in this market. He says he's never felt so worried. Dakar's Guinean market is strangely quiet. Even his regular customers aren't coming to shop anymore. They won't say it to my face, but I know they are scared of Ebola. We are Guineans, and most of what we sell, we bring from Guinea. More than 400 people have died of the Ebola virus in neighboring Guinea. Senegal sealed off this 300-kilometer border, hoping to prevent the virus from entering the country. But on Friday, the health minister announced its first case of Ebola. The victim is a 20-year-old Guinean immigrant living in Dakar. Doctors at this hospital are treating him in isolation. Twenty others, a mix of family members and health workers, are under medical supervision. Authorities fear that others may be infected with the deadly Ebola virus and are trying to trace people that have come into contact with the young Guinean man. These Guinean traders are under close scrutiny. Many often travel across the border. They make up the largest migrant population here. But the Ebola outbreak has affected the way Senegalese perceive them. Of course there are risks shopping here. When I get home, everything I buy from them I wash carefully. Traders are finding it difficult to source certain fruits. They've already run out of avocados and pineapples. But this is the least of Hassan Sampari's worries. His more immediate concern is to win back the trust of his customers. That might not happen until this Ebola outbreak is under control. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Sandiri Market, Dakar.